Tis the season, Michelle. You're absolutely right. And as we hit 752 on this Wednesday morning, we say hello to our good friend Joanne Uchuk from Fine Frostings. Welcome back. Morning. Thank so you. So you've taken a look at pumpkin pie and you've got... Oh, yes, we've upscaled it. Okay, so this is just three ingredients and you're promising much more decadence than oh. the traditional dessert. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Um, what we've got, we've got a pumpkin filling and then we've got the tart. So, okay. Uh, what we're using today for the pumpkin filling is a great product from Williams Sonoma and it's pumpkin pecan butter. Pumpkin pecan butter yep. from Williams Sonoma. Okay, yep. so this is the starting point. Yep. So you start with that and then you're seeing three ingredients. How are you going to... What I've got here is marscapone uh, cheese. So soften that up, add the pumpkin. Okay, so this, this is something that like the little kids can help out with type thing. Um, TV absolutely. hosts uh, can help out even if it's absolutely. that easy. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So this is one, two, and then our third ingredient is what we're doing is we're creating a pastry shell. Okay, so you're shell. using puff pastry? We are, yeah. Puff I'm pretty sure that this is popping up on my red flag list when it comes to this fitness challenge we're doing with Healthy Rhino. Am I right on that? There's no calories in dessert. But <laughs> okay, so this is for when you want to spoil yourself. You do. You know what, if you're going to cheat, I always say if you're going to cheat, five star it all the way. Yeah, I agree. You might as well. Make you it count. Well. Make so, it okay, count. so you got some flour on the, on the cutting board as per usual. Yeah, so puff pastry, what it is, is it's layers of dough. And then what they do is they put butter in between those layers. Yeah. And then when you when you heat it up, that cold butter, it puffs that pastry up and it just heightens it up. There's a bit. nothing that really compares to it. No, no, no. And you know what? It's tender, it's a tender flake product. I buy it all the time because it's really it's it's a little bit difficult to make. Okay, so you, but you, you can... know what? It's like three dollars. Okay, so you pick this up for tender flake, you pick exactly. up some marscapone cheese, you pick that up from William Snow and you're cruising good to go. You're cruising okay. good to go. What yep. do I need to do to prepare this? So all you have to do, it comes as, it's a frozen product, yep. put it in your fridge overnight and let it thaw out. Uh, take it out, it comes in two packages. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two sets. We're gonna roll this out to eight and a half by 11 sheet. You, should I roll it out right now? You betcha. Okay. Yeah. Uh, three things with pastry. Make sure your board is always floured. Yeah. Um, Move your dough around. Can you stop me if you see me yeah. making crucial mistakes? No, that's right. Move your dough around, kind of move it around. Oh, and okay, you can flip keep, it over yeah, and, and make sure that it it's, over, okay. And keep going. So you're going to make sure that this stuff keeps getting mixed in together. How well exactly. does it have to be integrated? You want ah, it all one color, I would you, imagine. Yes, hey? you do, you do. And that won't take very long at all. You can make this filling ahead of time and put it in your fridge. You can also make the tart shells ahead of time and put that in your fridge. But uh, when it all comes down to it, though, is this the type of thing that you want to be pulling the puff pastry out of the heat, out of the oven or whatever, like as you're serving it pretty much? You can, but you can make the tart shells ahead of time. Okay, so it doesn't right. matter. Yeah, no, you know what? This dessert can definitely be made ahead of time and then assembled uh, while the coffee's okay. on, actually. This is, this is like sort of an ish 8.5 by 11. That's perfect. Does that look okay? Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut... A circle with my graduated. Yeah. I've seen people use coffee mugs and stuff for this. That you works can. as well. You yeah. don't have to go out and the, buy the, new stuff. Yeah. The thing is with, with cookie cutters, they have a sharp edge, so they go right oh, through Oh, it's going to be a lot easier, hey? Yeah. And okay. Then what I did was I created another, I took out the center of this. Yeah. And add a little bit of egg wash. Now, this egg guy. wash, is that egg yolk and white or just yes. yolk? Yeah. Just the whole egg. The whole egg. Okay. Yeah. And nothing else added. So this acts as a bit of a glue. Add this. What this does is this gives me a little bit of oh, a ring. I see. Okay. For my pastry. Let's put and we'll put a little bit of maple syrup. Oh geez, why wouldn't you? So you're gonna make eight. This this recipe will make eight. Okay. So each uh, each uh, eight and a half by eleven will give you eight circles, and then the puff pastry comes in like two sections. Was this raw sugar you just put on I as did, well? I did. Yeah. Turbinado okay. sugar. I'm gonna egg bath this. Do you want to go ahead and uh, we will show pipe. us how we wrap this up here? For sure. Now, how long are these going to go in the oven for and what temperature at? 450, 12 to 15 minutes. Oh, so they're out quick. Yeah, exactly. So you can take your, your filling, put it in your piping bag. Yeah. And basically just... So you bake them. They're out in 12 minutes. Yeah. You do That's your piping bag. Way. You've shown us how to do that with Ziploc bags and the corner cut out of them before. Exactly. There you have it. And they're ready to go with whipped cream. Whipping cream. Oh, my gosh. And, and here then, you have it. Look at this presentation here on the finished product. You just nailed this. And then is this nutmeg? is my favorite spice is nutmeg. And this is where you can buy the actual nut. Nailed and it. it's 
Complete, oh, so fragrant. You can follow Joanne on Twitter at Fine Frostings and get more of her advice on amazing, simple projects like these. Happy Thanksgiving to you and the family. Thank you. It's great to see you again. Thank you. Breakfast Television back after this at 7.57. Courtney and the team with news, traffic, and weather coming right up.